Um, I'm Anshuman and our project is image to image translation using GANs, Generative Adversarial Networks. Our main project was to try and figure out a way to generate realistic faces from sketches. And we were motivated by the fact that currently in police cases uh, where we only have sketches to catch the culprit or the criminal, it becomes really hard to find the real criminal. And if we had a realistic face image of that, the public would be uh, the public would have it more easier to find the person and the criminal and help the police in such cases. As that the same model could be used for similar issues where we could take any sort of a raw data and convert it into a realistic image. And this would be particularly useful for game designers where they can just simply draw the basics of an art and that could be converted into a realistic building or a cityscape or a street. And we hope that this project will help others achieve much more of this. Hi everyone, my name is Shanmuk and I am here to tell you about GANs. GAN basically stands for Generative Adversarial Networks, which are used in the computer field, I mean the deep learning field, to generate images or any kind of data from scratch. GAN is generally used to create fake images, but in other domains it is also being used to create fake music, I mean new music, new paintings and new videos. So basically we can create a fake video of anyone doing anything. GAN uses two deep networks within it. GAN network basically contains a generator and a discriminator and there will be a constant minimax gain between these two networks. Uh, what the generator does is it takes in a random noises input and it creates a fake image and the discriminator takes in the input of a real image and checks between the fake image generated by the generator and the real image and then it throws out a probability like how close they are related. If the discriminator is saying that it is wrong like if it detects it is a fake image then it will send it back to the generator and the generator tries to improve itself and then throws out the same uh, different fake image and this game keeps on going. The discriminator keeps trying to say the generator is wrong and the generator keeps trying to prove the discriminator wrong. So this is the min-max game going on in GAN. This way the GAN network improves itself and it finally produces a fake image which is very close to the real image but still fake. As you can see here GAN can produce such fake videos in the same way it can produce some fake images which are closely related. Hi everyone, today I will be telling you what our module is all about. So we have four modules. Uh, first module is sketches to faces. We give sketches first and we get the real time faces like how the faces really look like. And then we have maps to buildings like we will give the input as a map from the aerial view and then we will get how it looks like. Uh, in, in place of building and then we have package to building here in package to it is used by the architects to design how buildings look like so when we give input as package we will get output as the building so it will help the architectures to find out how their design structure looks like and then we have cityscape to streets so basically if, uh, it is used in the games and stuff if we give the cityscape so it will give the real aesthetic things how the streets will look like so, as you can see, this is the image we have given to our module and this is the generated image which we got and, uh, yeah. and this is the faces thing, this is the conditional like what the sketches we have given and this is the original output like what we should get and this is the images what we are getting out of it and uh, this is another example like what we gave as a sketch and what we have generated and what is the original image, what is the ground truth and this is the whole network. In the generator part we give the sketches for the training purpose and after training in the generator part it generates a fake image and the fake image compares it with the original sample and then it goes to the discriminator part and then it tells is it correct or not and then we propagate and adjust the weights. So this is our module all about. I am Sri Raghavan. I am going to tell about the applications of the GAN network. By using GAN network, we can predict the drugs, drugs for certain diseases. In modeling, instead of taking photos of different poses, by using GAN network, we can generate
we can generate our process from a single image. The poetry and the poem, poetry and prose that are written in ancient language can be easily converted into understandable language by using Gan Network. Mm-hmm. Input text is rose is red in color. It will show the images of the rose that is red in color. And now I am here to talk about the applications of Gan. Gan can be used to create animated cartoons. In Japan, it is mainly used to create the animated cartoons which will reduce the hiring of uh, staffs for creating the cartoons. And uh, the GAN can also be used to convert low resolution images into high resolution images. And uh, also, nowadays, scientists are working very hard to predict the anti-cancer cells that can uh, completely cure the cancer disease. The main focus of our project is to help the police by converting the pencil sketches that are pencil sketches of the culprits that are drawn with the help of the available evidence into a realistic images that could definitely help the police to catch the culprits.